Sorry for my appearance and also for my voice, I'm pretty crook. But I really, really just wanted to give a, a quick overview of my opinion on the movie Okja, O-K-J-A, and it is just phenomenal. I can't recommend it enough. This beautiful and special little creature will be a revolution in the livestock industry. Our super pigs will not only be big and beautiful, they will also leave a minimal footprint on the environment, consume less feed, and produce less excretions. And most importantly, they need to taste f***ing good. Through this character, Okja, the, 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 the super pig that is uh, raised as the new genetic GMO hybrid that is going to basically uh, solve the world's hunger and food issues. This super pig, well, it's kind of whatever animal you decide it to be. But in South Korea, I can tell you now that a lot of young people are gonna make the connection between Okja, the super pig, and Okja, the dog. Just the way this super pig behaves is very much like a dog. If these animals, these super pigs, are given even the smallest amount of love and attention and affection, then they're part of the family. You know, they act and behave completely different and I think that's really the message for all animals here. You, you know, I've got my dog next to me, you know, he's a beautiful little animal. You're amazing, aren't you? And, you know, um, obviously I have a relationship with this dog. You know, it's a rescue dog. I haven't had him very long. He's 12 years of age. And despite not knowing him before this and only having a very short time with this animal, I've developed quite a good relationship with him because I've shown him love and care and affection. And I think the same thing can happen with a pig, the same thing can happen even with a cow, with a chicken, with any animal. And I think that's a message behind uh, the movie, that if you show animals compassion, love and respect, you're gonna develop a relationship with them and you're gonna start to recognize them as sentient beings. And that's what Oksha really delivers. It delivers that message very strong. And I think we can all take a message from this movie um, if anything, that, you know, like in South Korea, Elvis, the dog sitting beside me, he is not food. This little fella here is not food. Why? Because we have a relationship with him. And South Koreans, young South Koreans, are developing more and more relationships with dogs. And they're starting to develop relationships and an understanding of other animals uh, as being sentient beings, which for some of us sounds silly, but even in the West, we have so many people that don't develop relationships with animals and it's really, really disappointing. One of the odd things in this movie is some of the characters. And when you look behind and have some knowledge behind the scenes, it makes sense. For example, a scientist for the corporation that collects the super pig and then is responsible for taking some of that meat out of the animal and performing other, well, let's be honest, really horrible tasks, probably forcibly impregnating these animals as well. This scientist, he's a drunk, and towards the end, he suggests that he loves animals. It implies that he's only doing his job because that has been the role assigned to him. And that's unfortunate, and it's the unfortunate reality for a lot of scientists as well, that they end up having to do things to animals that they really don't like and don't want to do. And the main scientist in this movie is obviously traumatized, and he's turned to alcohol as a reason uh, and a way to cope with uh, his emotional trauma that he's experiencing because of the work that he's done with these so-called super pigs. Thanks guys, if you've watched this far, I know my voice is horrible, I look like crap, and um, I'm not being very coherent in my thoughts, but I really do appreciate you watching this if you've come this far. Thanks guys, and definitely check out Okja, O-K-J-A. They need to taste good.